darkness doesn't drive out darkness. So why do we think it can? You know, we do things like when we're on social media, we'll zing somebody with a post or we'll send people anonymous emails or letters. We'll try to get back at people, seek our revenge. But we know that darkness doesn't drive out darkness. And I think it's because we're hiding from who we really are. In the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis, when it talks about how humans were created, it says that God created human beings and called them good. God didn't create human beings and call them not good enough or almost there or almost going to get there or they're okay. God created human beings and called them good. So why is it that we are constantly seeking to drive out darkness with darkness? Why are we seeking revenge? Why is it an eye for an eye when we think about our relationships with other people. Now, Jesus thought differently about this, and he taught us a different way of living. And he tells a story, and he says that, you know, when you're dealing with other people, when someone slaps you on the cheek, turn the other cheek. And Jesus wasn't saying this as a way to be passive. Quite the contrary. Jesus was actually saying this to assert yourself as a human being in the midst of a time when somebody's trying to dehumanize you. You see, in that particular culture, the left hand was the unclean hand. So if someone slaps you on the face and then you turn the other cheek, it was them saying, I dare you to slap me with your unclean hand because they knew that they wouldn't do it. It was a way to say, like, I am a human being just like you. Because darkness can't drive out darkness, but there is so much hope in the world, it's impossible to overhope. It's impossible to overhope in our world. Now, I know that there's somebody in your life who you're having so much difficulty with or that you just really don't like or somebody in your life that you want to take revenge. But here's the thing. I'm asking you to turn the other cheek. And don't turn the other cheek for them. Turn the other cheek for you. To assert your humanity, to assert the person that God has created you to be, the good, true, and beautiful person that God has made you to be and to live in this world. Turn the other cheek for you. Because darkness can't drive out darkness, but it's impossible to over hope. People have to be confused about how Christians are living. People have to be confused by the people and the way in which Christians are living out in the world, the way in which they're living, they're making people feel and the, the words that they're saying, people have to be confused by that. Because faith isn't supplemental, faith is essential. And we spend a lot of our time sheltering ourselves in the darkness when we could be sheltering ourselves around the one who we call Jesus, who gives us the grace and love and hope and truth in our world. Because darkness can't overcome darkness, but it's impossible to over hope. Amen.